love and two or three weeks later, I get sick. I went to Memorial Hospital. They said I have an asthma. So they gave me the treatment and I have to go back to work. Two or three days later, I had to go to the Memorial and they think I was very, very sick. One day, I wake up and I can talk and I can walk. And I said, oh my God, now what am I going to do? I called 911 and I told my roommate uh, to open the door. I, I, I said, open the door, open the door, but I can talk, I can walk. They take me to the your hospital. As soon as I get there, I got very, very sick. I was in coma like five or six days. And after that, when I wake up from the coma, I asked my pastor, Miguel Robinson and his wife, why me? Why me? And at that moment, I don't understand why me. Later, I understand why me. God gave me that sickness because I have to fix something in my life. I have big family problems, and in that particular moment, all my family get together again and fix everything. Everybody was praying for me, everybody was happy, and everything. And now I think God is good, God is great. Because my first visit was to go to my church and say, oh my God, thank you, God, thank you. And I went with my oxygen on the side, and the second visit, I still had my oxygen. But at the third time, I said, if God said, I don't have anything, I have to breathe with myself, I don't need any machine. God said that, I don't want to use it. So the third visit, I need to see oxygen. I'm healthy, and God don't do anything incomplete. Whatever God has started, he finished. Amen. And God is good, God is great. And today is another reason, because the testimony was from my grandbaby. And he has something at the last minute. And I understand now why me. Again, why me? Because I got big family in my congregation. And now 